What's up guys? Igor in Russia. Slept like a baby in, uh, in this <laughs> awesome, I love this place. It's, uh, it's my Russian apartment. Uh, rent, uh, rented but feels like my own. And um, so I woke up, slept like a baby and today we are cooking some Russian breakfast. I'm no chef, uh, I'm just uh, Igor, but uh, we're in Russia, St. Petersburg and we're gonna cook some uh, breakfast with you guys. Subscribe to the channel, Russian Experience, let's go. So I just uh, managed to find the kettle, what do you call that? Uh, and uh, at the same time, I'm gonna a little bit sh show you a bit what am I doing? All right, we have some Russian cheapest soil, salt. We put some. Let's put some. Uh, it's a bit bulky, by the way. And. Uh, like I said, <laughs> you're probably laughing all the way, but I'm no chef, but this way we're gonna make the the thing uh, boil faster. We're gonna be doing, like the last video I did, similar to this one is, uh, we're gonna do a sausage, but this time around the sausage is a real sardelica. Sardelica, it's a, you're gonna see it in a bit. And uh, by the way, I had this, I have had this here for Truly for years. And it's Finnish Fatser uh, from back in the day when it was sold here. Because Fatser has left has left the building, has left the Russian market. But I still have the Russian rye, uh, Finnish rye bread. It's not as good as the ones in, in, uh, in Finland, but um, what can you do? Uh, Rye is not, especially like dry rye, is not popular in, in Russia at all. Uh, but in Finland it's like uh, quite common. We have loads of stuff we have here, by the way. Some Finnish licorice as well, it's probably dried up already. But anyways, I'm gonna do some uh, morning coffee for myself. And this is actually Nescafe. Super expensive nowadays in, in in Russia because after all the sanctions and the company's boycotts, the the prices has gone up way way much, and I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure that are you able to uh, buy these for like it's almost 10 euros a package, which is twice as much as in finish 16 of these or 30 of these capsules let's check out uh, a lot of beer in the fridge what we need for uh, today's today's meal is Russian smetana Russian beer kidding these are by the way something we're gonna do later on these are Russian Soviet, Russian Soviet uh, uh, drinks, and uh, then we have cheese. I'm gonna tell you in a bit what's so special about it. And here's the main thing for today's meal: tilachi, uh, sardeliki, tilachi. I'm not sure what's tilachi. I'm not sure. All right, remit. This costs like three euros. And as you can see, these are fat ones. These are sardelikis. And what else do we have? We need milk. Russian milk. Best in the world. Never start my journey to Russia without drinking some milk right in the first, during the first hour of arriving. In and of course, starting off my morning with Russian milk. Also pour a little bit for... Over here. Yep. 
and just wait come on there you go and uh, the water used for this coffee machine has to be um, water in a bottle bought in a store so you cannot drink water from from the tap where is it yes you cannot do that and uh, very often in the previous rent apartment for example who had a special uh, thing uh, which cleansed the water it's pretty cheap and most of the people have it, I guess, especially in uh, older apartments. And uh, so it cleanses the water. You cannot drink it, but you are able to prepare food in that water, for example. It's, so yeah, something like that. All right, guys, this is the my Russian kitchen. The stove. Electricity is cheap. Cheap in Russia, it's super cheap. It's basically free. It's awesome. So yeah, my living room is here. It's a kitchen, living room. Have all the stuff on the bed for filming I'm gonna go somewhere today to film amazing uh, amazing rush I can show you also the uh, the bedroom and also the the balcony so balcony is like this most of the Russians most of Russians use balcony just as a as a storage room many well we are as well and uh, <laughs> But I mean, in a big way, uh, they like use it, and it's full with, it's full of uh, stuff, and and that's very different. For example, for Finnish way, where, where balcony is actually like a continuation of your apartment, so that's interesting. So yeah, basically, uh, this is the uh, my bedroom. Slept, slept here. It's not made, sorry. Russian flag. <laughs> All right. The water is now boiling. That means we are able to put a sardelic. Let's put one. I know one is enough. It's a huge one. And check it out. Check this out. This is Russian sardelic. Have it here. Have it there for a couple of minutes. But anyways, this here says it's, you could put it in a microwave uh, grill or just as we are doing it, boil it. Product готов к употреблению. Рекомендуем. Yes. They're recommend, recommending to eat, uh, eat it warm. <laughs> because sardeliki is well you can eat sausages cold as well it's okay anyways this smells really nice it's suitable for uh, for uh, it looks suspicious uh, suitable for grilling for example you know during the grill time in the summer but this wasn't actually plastic I said in uh, some comments in the on my YouTube that uh, that's it's actually uh, uh, plastic sausages. I mean, the plastic covering is very common. It's okay. There's nothing special about that. It's in Russia. It's okay, but this one is actually not from not from the uh, plastic one. I'm addicted to coffee. Meanwhile, we are preparing some Russian bread. It's called black bread. 
And this is a really good one. I usually even bring this home to finish home. Of course, it lasts not long. Here we have actually uh, unbusted. Here is some pirianikis to bring home also. Uh, yes, so the cheese, I love cheese, but the cheese that I got here is called Finsky Sir. It means Finnish, Finnish cheese, but this is a Russian brand. This is, I love this, I like it a lot. Brest, Brest Litovsk. Finsky sir and Finnish cheese means basically you have other uh, alternatives as well but Finnish cheese means usually it's not uh, not as fat cheese like like the others plus it's like uh, well the taste is very Finnish basic Finnish cheese but it's not it's not uh, Finnish it's it's Russian Finnish but that's okay because we have Russian Russian cheese then we have all sorts of you know variations it's before some crazy people start to comment something you know we do have like Russian I think this is enough we do have Russian and I will eat it one for myself now uh, Russian um, pickles you know you have Russian and uh, uh, metwurst you know you have all these and what I meant was that we have these Russian names in food and products, in styles of products, also elsewhere than in Russia, and nobody complains about that. Meanwhile, while the sausage is cooking, boiling, we're gonna check out a little bit more of this apartment tour in Russian apartment. Basic microwave over here. Like I said, uh, living room, television, all included, all the channels included, well not all, hundreds, tens, I don't know is it's like do you have to pay to get more but I don't need it, YouTube is everything, stove and the kitchen part and then we have this hallway entrance which is like sort of uh, unused area and uh, we can actually see outside. Is there anybody? Actually, there was somebody. And this is the Doma phone, which you open, somebody calls you up, like, hey, food delivery. Okay, then you put the button and it opens. Opens the door downstairs. But sort of a sort of unused area over here, you know. Waste uh, square meters. And of course the toilet. Bathtub is very common in Russia. So here's bathtub. Uh, I use it rarely, you have to have time and I'm busy filming. So this is how it looks like. This is toilet. And the thing is, by the way, in, in Russian bath, bathtubs, you cannot, you shouldn't put too much water on, on the ground because it's, uh, you know, it can go through sort of. And that's the difference because usually I don't know if it's in Europe, but in Finland, the the uh, the toilets and uh, the bath area is done so that you can actually just drip water there as much as you can, and usually do. Differences in living. All right, let's be get back to Sardelica. I think it's ready. Yes, it is. Let's put this away. All right, we are ready to eat. So there we have the sausage sardelica. And uh, four pieces of sardelica cost three euros. And uh, the cheese that I show you, this one here, it's uh, 
Finnish cheese by Brest Litovsk, Litovsky. It was a uh, oh shit. It costs like as I think it was also a bit less than it was two and a half euros. Actually, I think you can eat this with this uh, cover as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing meat here. And what we need now is of course some milk. This is a good brand, Prostokvashina. And also Prostokvashina is Smetana. This uh, is a popular legendary Russian Soviet uh, cartoon. Three series, three episodes. Really, really great. And um, let's take a sip of coffee. And we have the Russian. <laughs> Money is not part of uh, breakfast, it's just I'm a traveler, so. Let's have some smetana as well here. This is something that always leaves, it stays in my. Um, stays in my. Um, oh my god, it looks good. In my fridge when I leave and when I come back, you can imagine that what happens after a few weeks of food. All right, let's check it out. A couple of pieces of bread. And I don't usually eat breakfast, but now when I'm in Russia, since I'm moving so much, I need, I need energy, you know. All right. Uh, Dobra utra, good morning. The sardelka, it's amazing, it's great. Much more better than the sausage that we had last time. Wow. It's great. Guys. Guys, this was a uh, cooking with Igor Russian breakfast. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, what you guys think about the Russian breakfast, my cooking skills. How did you like my, the short uh, apartment tour? What you guys think about the Russian apartments? What you guys think about the Russian fridge that I have? <laughs> sure, it's just the content is mine and uh, Please sure, make sure to subscribe, bring in the new sausages into your world, Igor in Russia, from St. Petersburg, Paka Paka.